Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and I'm going to show you a card today that I'm making for my aunt and it's for her birthday but it's going to look very Valentine's Day like so it can definitely be used for Valentine's Day or maybe an anniversary card or something like that. But I'm doing it in the sense of like type of a love card because I love her with all my heart. So let's see, this is Creative Critter 2 on page 37. I've cut out this tree and it's got cute little hearts and then uh, I cut it out at two and a half inches. And then there is the face that goes with it, but I just hid that on my gypsy. Or if you wanna do the Cricut Craft Room, you can also hide the features on there. So let's get started. Here's the tree that I cut out. It was cut out at two and a half inches. And my card base is just a regular A2 size card. The paper that I'm using today is from Recollections and it is called With Love. It's a really cute paper stack. If you guys haven't seen this, it is adorable. Let me just kind of flip through some of the pages here. If you like things that are bright and cutesy, this is the stack for you. It's really fun. And I like stripes and I like dots, so this had my name written all over it. So here's the base that I've done and what I've I kind of wanted to do something different. I was in the mood for a different type of layout, so I actually just went to Pinterest and looked up um, card sketches, and this is how I came up with this one, was from a card sketch that I found on there. And a great thing is this is a good card if you want to use up your scraps. I happen to use the card uh, collection that came, that I just showed you guys, the With Love one, but it's a great way to use up your scraps if you do have some scraps. So. Um, let's get started here. You can see that I added this base color on the polka dot on top of this one. It's kind of like a grid paper on this one. So I'm just going to add some ATG tape on here. And before I add it, I should have done this first. I do have one more piece that I was going to add down the side here. So let me just kind of add that right here. There we go, and I'm just gonna cut that part off with my scissors here. Oops, that didn't adhere very well. Let me let me get this closer to the edge. I don't think I got that close enough to the edge. There we go. Let's try to align this one more time. Okay, and now I'm just gonna trim this off here. Okay, perfect. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more ATG tape to the side of it since I added a little bit more to it. I want this more toward the bottom here. I like the way that looks. And now the next thing that I've done is I found this on clearance at Michael's. I love this ribbon. So I, I know I've mentioned this many times, many times to you guys to make sure and check the bridal section because there's always all sorts of clearance things in there. This is regularly $3.99 on clearance for 99 cents. And this is actually 10 yards rather than the normal five yards that you get. So anyway, and it's so cute. See the pink? Now this adorable little stamp that you see on here that says happy birthday is actually from Cards TV called Berry Sweet. And what I did was I saw Emma from My Creative Time and really clever what she did. So I'll kind of show you what, what I'm trying to show you. Oh, here it is. So this one says, have a very happy birthday. So what she showed in her video is get a piece of tape, and you guys might, might even know this, but I just thought it was super clever. So you get a piece of tape, and let's see. She, because I don't want have a berry, so you would just cover this part with tape. There you go. You put it on your ink block like this. You ink it up, and then you pull off the tape. And then the only part that'll be inked says happy birthday and then you use that. Isn't that clever? So I love that idea. I wanted to pass that on in case you didn't see her video where she did that because I thought that was very brilliant. And you know what that does? That just extends the stamps and the sentiment so much more. I was looking at this going, wow, I could do like, you make me happy instead of bear. And if you're not doing a bear card now, I adore these bear sentiments, but I'm just saying if you're not doing a bear card, well, you, this one, sending you, if you hide out the bear, it'll just say sending you hugs. So you can really extend, really extend your stamps and even make more sentiments out of them. 
So um, anyway, just wanted to share that with you because I thought and like this one says, I love you or I love you very much. Super cute, right? So just wanted to share that with you. And let's see. I think what I'm also going to do on this one is add a little bit of this Baker's Twine. I thought that'd be kind of cute on the edge here. Um, and I think I'm just going to do something really simple. Sometimes I tie a bow, but in this case, I think I'm really just going to make it even more simple than that. And literally just wrap it around like three times. Just like that. And you know what I should have done? <laughs> Here's another little tip. Here's another one. This makes life a lot easier too. If I would have just done the ATG tape on here instead of using that kind of tape, that makes life easier too. So I'm going to show you different tips today that hopefully you guys will use and it'll make life a little bit easier. So there's that and press that in there. Snip that off and I'm going to add that over here. A couple little strands of this before I put that on actually. So this is some cute little pom-poms that I got and I'm gonna peel off this little, I have double stick tape on the back of this so I'm just gonna peel off this double stick tape. Whoops, peeled off the whole thing. I don't want that, I just want the double stick tape part, you know, the, the top part of it to come off. So let's try that again because that was not what I was thinking was going to happen. Let's try this again very carefully. Okay, that's pressed down. That's good. And I do need to trim this off just a little bit because I know that this happens to be just a bit too long. Okay. And I want that right here down at the bottom to make a cute little pom-pom trim down here. This would be really sweet at the edge. How cute is that? Okay, so there's my little pom-poms down there. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is add my little tree, and I think I'm going to do my tree with some 3D Zots, so let me get those out. 3D Zots, super cute. Just two of those, I think is just plenty. I'll put that right here. How cute. I really like the layout too. This is something totally different and I think it's really sweet. And this one says happy birthday, so we're adding some more color into here. I think I kind of like it a little bit lower, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit lower like that. And last but not least, look how cute these are, you guys. I got these from Kay and Company from Michaels and they weren't super cheap, I'd have to admit. But this is just one of those things where I was like, you know, these are really, really sweet. And I thought it'd be kind of cute to add it. So I like this one with a stripe on it. So I'm going to peel this one off with a little heart and add that little guy right here to the corner. And that is my finished card for my aunt. Isn't that so sweet? I think she's just going to love this card. Hope you guys are having a really great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.